two-step equations. So as the name suggests, two-step equations take two steps in order to solve them. So an extra step as opposed to our one-step equations. Let's have a look at one. We have 4x minus 3 equals 9. So re remember the goal in solving an equation is to solve for the pronumeral and it's to get that pronumeral on its own. Well, our pronumeral is x, but it's not on its own because it's got a 4 and a minus 3. So we need to get rid of both of these things, the 4 and the minus 3. Well, what do I get rid of first, the 4 or the minus 3? As a general rule, if you've got a number by itself, that's the thing we need to get rid of first. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to get rid of that minus 3 first. And we get rid of it by plussing 3 to both sides. Because remember, whatever you do to one side, you do the other. And minus 3 plus 3 is 0. That's the whole reason of doing it. Equals under equals. And on the left-hand side, after getting rid of that 3, we're left with the 4x. Because we didn't do anything to that. And then 9 plus 3 is going to give us 12. And now we're just left with a one-step equation to solve. So we need to get we need to solve for x and get the pronumeral by itself, and that 4's in the way. So we need to get rid of that 4 by doing the opposite operation. 4x, remember, means 4 times x. The opposite of timesing by 4 is dividing by 4. And we need to do that to both sides. Because 4 divided by 4 is 1 equals under equals. So we're left with 1x, or just x. And 12 divided by 4 is 3. And you can always double check. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 minus 3 is 9. Okay, let's look at another one. 6x plus 3 equals 1. Now, we've got two things we need to get rid of because we need x to be by itself. And remember, number on its own, that's what we get rid of first. So to get rid of that plus 3, we're going to minus 3 to both sides because 3 minus 3 is going to be 0 and it's going to disappear. Equals under equals. We're just left with the 6x. And 1 minus 3 is going to give us minus 2. Now we've got a one-step equation to solve, and we need to get x by itself. We need to get rid of that 6. 6x means 6 times x. The opposite of timesing by 6 is going to be dividing by 6. We're going to do that to both sides. 6 divided by 6 is going to give us 1. So we're left with 1x there, equals under equals. We just write x. And then we get minus 2 over 6. But this is a fractional answer and it can be simplified and always have to give um, your fraction in simplest form. So we can divide both of these by 2 and you can have a negative fraction as well. So let's have a look. So minus 2 divided by 2 is going to give us minus 1 and 6 divided by 2 is going to give us 3 and that's our final answer for that one. All right. Let's have a look at another one. x over 3 plus 6 equals minus 1. Now, we've got two things we need to get rid of. We need to get rid of the 3 and the 6 for x to be by itself. A number on its own, we get rid of first. So how are we going to get rid of that plus 6? Well, we're going to minus 6 from both sides because 6 minus 6 will be 0. So it goes equals under equals. On the left hand side, we're just left with that x over 3. And then we've got minus 1 minusing another 6 gives us minus 7. Now we just need to get rid of this divided by 3. To do that, we need to do the opposite, which is times in by 3. But if you do to one side, you do to the other side. Now, this 3 and divided by 3 are going to simplify to 1. So we're just left with 1x equals under equals. We just write x, don't have to write 1x. And minus 7 times 3 
is minus 21. All right, one more example. X plus 2, all divided by 7, equals 11. Now here, I've got this number I want to get rid of, the plus 2, and I want to get rid of the divide by 7 to get x by itself. So what do I get rid of first? Well, in this case, whenever you have a fraction on its own with, a, with two numbers, we need to get rid of the denominator first. And to do that, we're dividing by 7, so we do the opposite, which is times in by 7. And the 7 divided by 7 will just be 1, equals under equals, and we're just left with the numerator, x plus 2. So if you ever times a fraction by its denominator, it'll actually get rid of it. And 11 times 7 is 77. Now we have a pretty easy equation to solve, we just need to get rid of that plus 2. So we can minus 2 from both sides, because 2 minus 2 will be 0, equals under equals, x equals 75.